Oh, sorry, buddy. It looks like my winter at internet went out there for a second. Should be coming up real soon here. But yeah, this is kind of... <laughs> I was saying a moment ago is, I mean, this feels like it was a very predictable result. What I said at the start of this match is, if you're going to pick the HR1 into Faxal, you have to have someone that can FC the pick 10 times out of 10 because you know Karcher FCs these hard rock ones every single time. And he does so this time around. And uh, to be quite honest, I don't think either of these teams have had a great pick ban in this match. I mean, between the HD2 ban, the, uh, the DT2 pick, and now the hard rock one pick, it feels like... Um, the big band just hasn't been great this time. Hard Rock and, 2, this is a map we've been expecting. I mean, yeah, it certainly only makes sense. Uh, you know, this is the map that's for sure in my mind going to be the one that puts Baxel at match point. Uh, but yeah, I just like to, you know, take a look at Karcher's accuracy. He got only seven one hundreds on HR one. That, that that is the skill set that is Karcher is known for. That and flow, <laughs> flow aim and his FC on Yamiori. <laughs> back to back. Uh, yeah, I expect we're gonna see largely the same rosters this time around. Um, possible that we see um, Bora in over. Uh, Luz Joel this time around did play the qualifiers precision, but um, did get the bottom team score on it, so remains to be seen. It right, looks like I'm going to be having most player in. Really no substitutions whatsoever, you know, go from Hard Rock 1 to Hard Rock 2, probably just going to put standard lineup in here. Yeah, really just a mess player in for uh, Lucio, and that's going to be it. Now, this hard rock 2 is uh, a little bit more on the aim side. It is fairly awkward aim, and there are quite a few bursts that can catch people out. We did see Kersey miss early on on one of those bursts, followed up by mess player and Ninja missing right before the slow section. So it is going to be three FCs to two early on in favor of Nagumin, but this of course is a fairly short map so those will actually make a difference and Mouse Player finds another miss oh but traded by Dust and that's an FC down for Nagumin they have held on to that lead long enough to build up a tiny advantage but now two FCs to two Kersey recovering very nicely and Ninja finds another miss and that's going to go back over to oh that's a big drop a player you can't afford to lose everything is on Sir and Sir finds the miss as well Things are falling apart for Magoomin here. Most player and Kersey find misses, but it's Vendemia and Karcher doing what they do best on these hard rock picks, both holding onto those FCs halfway through the map. Zero FCs from Waganawa. Now they were looking pretty good in the first half of the map, and then they kind of just started to break down. No, no surprise saying Vendemia and Karcher is still with FCs at really good accuracy for it. For precision, we've got 98 and 97 percent. That's absolutely crazy. Their aim is on point today. I don't know what else to say about that. That they just gods when it comes to HR2 precision. Yeah, Weckl also with absurd accuracy, the 99.4 right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to matter, especially if neither Karcher or Vendemia miss, which. Doesn't look like they are. The last jump section on this map is really tricky. Can they hold on to their full combos? Vendemia does not, and Karcher with two back-to-back -back FCs on the Hard Rock picks. Just uh, doing Karcher things. Well, yeah. Honestly, like, giving 2 million score on HR2 is honestly extremely good, but when you go against South Korea, uh, you know, it's really hard to secure a breakpoint on HR2s like that or any other precision type picks. Yep. And now it will surely be the DT2. And I can only assume that, yeah, it's going to be a DT2. And if they're really not feeling DT2, then it's got to be either Nomad 1 or 3. 
Uh, I'd say DT2, you know, they won DT1 and, and 3. I'll see what could go wrong with DT2. Especially when Baxel's, you know, looking at securing the win here with one more point. Yeah, did not win the DT1. It was the free mod 2, but regardless, they have been looking, uh, gotten all their points on speed so far. So makes me uh, lean a little bit towards the DT2. Um, I think the no mod 2 would absolutely be a mistake. Uh, oh, but yeah. no mod 1 or no mod 3 are technically possibilities. Um, I would honestly be very hesitant to pick no mod 3 um, if I were a human because the problem with this no mod 3 specifically is it has two very, very spiky patterns. Um, and the rest of the map is relatively free comparatively. So. That map is all about the skill cap, and chances are, looking at these two rosters, it is going to be players like Karcher, um, players like Medemya even, that can hit those patterns, whereas I could see many misses from Megumin on those uh, really tricky all patterns. And so it's just going to be the GT2 instead, as we were expecting for their last pick. Uh, but now, they are in a much tougher spot with Baxal on breakpoint. They cannot afford to lose. Yep, and look at the lineups for these. Probably gonna see from uh, Waga. Probably gonna see Knight, Sir Weckel, and Ninja, and from um, Baxo, for sure. Probably gonna see Karcher, uh, Mass Player, Crazy, and their fourth player could be LeJewel, but probably is a mistake on my end. Yeah, they certainly do have options here or even garlulu um, or fnql yeah i definitely could see fnql in for the speed is usually uh i mean that's that's what he's there for is the kind of uh speed dt player for the team and so i do expect uh, fnql going to be the fourth um, speed roster should stay consistent for Megumin with what we've seen in the rest of the match on that free mod 2 DT3. Alright, there we see the good luck have funds in the chat. Waganawa has to win their own pick and get the breakpoint next pick to force that T beyond back cell, but I will say that will be a, a very, very tall order. And it looks like I am having problems with a client right now. Oh no. Ch Chat RC said the match has started, but it's not started on my screen yet. All right, there oh. we go. There we go. I think we're like 30 seconds behind now. <laughs> oh, that is okay. How it goes with the client sometimes. This is a very, very long map for the DT. Three minutes and 40 seconds. So those early misses are not gonna matter whatsoever. And the thing about this map is it has a somewhat tricky beginning after the first maybe 30 seconds, a little bit of an easier middle section, and then an absolutely brutal ending. But we do see some misses from Russia, Fangirl, and Ninja a little bit. A surprise actually to see Russia, Fangirl in for this one, but more misses from Knight and Weckl. Everybody now has reset on the side of Magoomin. I was traded back by Karcher and Kersey, but most player and no longer Vendemia are holding the FCs of Russia in Ninja finding another miss. And there's just nobody on the side of Magoomin who was able to build up a solid combo. And I guess now we're seeing why they were hesitant to pick the DT2, but they do still have lots of time. And with only one FC on the side of Baxal, if that FC drops off and the human can start to build up some combos. Uh, they have lots of time to come back, but Russia and Ninja desperately need to stop chain missing on this easier section, especially. They cannot afford to miss here. Yeah, unfortunately, Mass Play is just popping off right now with 98% ACK and still an FC. Even if he does break, uh, we do see consistent breaks from Waganawa, especially on Russia and Ninja. But we do see some really good recoveries from Knight and Wacko, so they could be the potential that could bring him back to lead. But they are over 230k down in score, and it's going to be a lot to make up, especially when we're already halfway through the map. But we also seen some really good recovery on Karcher and, and, and uh, KRZY matching Knight and Wacko. 
do see another break from Vademia, but he didn't have too much of a combo to begin with, so it's not going to affect Bosco's uh, uh, overall score whatsoever. And this uh, score gap keeps on growing and growing on the side of Baxel, and at some point, it's just going to be way too much for Waganala to be able to uh, secure another point. There he goes, not do with a big drop now. Dropping that part of the combo, and now here we go into the probably the harder part of the map coming up after this little section. Wacko finds a miss on the square pattern. That is disastrous. That was one of the few big combos left, and yes, Rushia has recovered nicely, but Mouse player is still on the full combo at this point. Karcher and Kersey's combos are massive. Oh, and there goes Knight as well. And that is going to be the match. Baxel will be taking this one of five to two over Magumum. Although it looks like Baxel will be taking this point and ending the match with five to two. I do, well, I will commend Waga for getting two points off of Baxel with, especially with the caliber of players on their team. So I'd say, although they lost the match, will be moved down to winner's um, loser's bracket. Uh, I'd say it's a dub getting two two points off of Baxel, so I think that's something to be proud of. Yeah, Magoomin has showed today that they are a team to be feared in the losers bracket. Uh, honestly, just looking at their scores, um, feel as though they have outperformed their seed at least a little bit. But. This one is going to come to a conclusion. Mouse player securing that full combo. Very impressive, of course, Karcher. And Kersey not too far behind. And like you mentioned, Baxal moving on in the winner's bracket. And I think that is going to be it for this one. Our next match is at 17 UTC, uh, just over an hour from now. We don't currently have a streamer for that one, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully we can get one before then, so stay tuned for that. If that one is not streamed, uh, the next stream match will be at 19 UTC between Halcyon and Poskvoni ALPL. Yep, and that one's going to be casted by Dio in Subaru Arama. So definitely stay tuned for that. And you will obviously be seeing a ping from them when that match does start. All right, and yep. with that, Baxel are the winners. And we'll be moving on. And thank you, iFlame, for coming out here and casting once again for Rise Cup. Yep, congratulations to Maggie Pro 2 on their previous win. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.